اهلا وسهلا فيكم في حلقه جديده من برنامج الاستوديو هذه المره عم نرجع بطريقه مختلفه صحفي مشهور جدا في مدريد من اهم صحفي ريال مدريد في اسبانيا السيد سانتياغو سيجيرو بنرحب فيه معنا ومن وان شاء الله حندخل في ريال مدريد بتفاصيل كثيره هالمره من شخص مطلع عايش الجو في البدايه خلينا نحكي عن ريال مدريد شو اللي صار في دوري الابطال Well, first of all, it's a pleasure to be in your in your channels, Mohamed. It's a big pleasure. Uh, well, what what happened to Real Madrid in Champions League? Uh, they had really two bad games against against Shakhtar Donetsk. Uh, Shakhtar was probably the weakest uh, rival in in Real Madrid group, <clears throat> and in my opinion, uh, they they were not uh, enough concentrated in in the two games, uh, especially in the game in Madrid. They were losing. They were trailing. Uh, Nil three uh, at the half time. It was a terrible game from from Madrid, uh, but the team showed that in hard games, in important games, they they push up, they they raise their level, and that's why finally they 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 qualified. But uh, that's true that in Madrid and and also in the club and also in the dressing room, they feared that they would not uh, qualify this year because, uh, as I told you, they have. Two terrible games against against Shakhtar, and and well, uh, there was a high risk not to qualify for the next round. تتوقع الموضوع كان يتعلق بالغرور بالثقة بالنفس الزايدة. Not not an easy group. Every everyone in 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 Madrid uh, knew that it was a tough group because uh, well, you know, uh, the the Italian league is very popular in Spain. Everybody watches games, and they knew Inter was a was a tough rival. Also about Borussia Mönchengladbach, uh, uh, we are used to to watch many Bundesliga matches, and they and we know uh, it was a good team. Uh, maybe Shakhtar was uh, more unknown, and yes, uh, it was. Uh, uh, I I don't want to say that they uh, that they underrated them, but they 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 felt very confident about 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 these two games, and they they were not uh, intense enough. Uh, Against a team that, uh, well, we know uh, we know them very well in Spain because they have played against Barcelona many times in the Champions League. They know we know have they have uh, many Brazilian players, uh, many talented players. Uh, but uh, well, uh, let's say they they underrated them a little bit, and that could cause them the the qualification. Fortunately, uh, they they could react in the they could react in the in the games against Inter, and they. Made a very good game against against Borussia to get the to get the the passport to the to the to the eliminatories. The Qura went to Real Madrid with Atlanta. Did you see the game? No, no, of course not. Uh, well, Atlanta was uh, one of the of the surprises in the last Champions League uh, edition. They are playing very well in the in the Italian league. They have uh, an offensive style, and I don't think that fits Real Madrid very well. Uh, Real Madrid feels more comfortable about against teams who defend themselves, who close themselves, and Atalanta is a very offensive team. I don't know what will happen will happen with Papu Gomez because uh, maybe uh, it seems that he is leaving the team in in January, and obviously obviously it would be very 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 important for for Atalanta. But I don't think anyone anyone in Madrid is very confident about that tie because. <clears throat> well, uh, Real Madrid has lost in the in <clears throat> in the Champions League in the last uh, uh, two seasons in the first in the first round. So, uh, well, maybe they should not uh, uh, relax before that tie because uh, they know Atalanta. Well, Atalanta uh, reached the last eight in the in the last Champions League. So they are they have in that in that sense more more experience than Real Madrid. So in in the recent years, I mean. Ah, okay. بناء على النتائج الأخيرة اللي شفناها ريال مدريد بيهزم إشبيليا بيهزم أتلتيكو. تتوقع زين الدين زيدان قادر يفوز بالدوري؟ Well, the derby was very important. Uh, Atletico could have uh, got a nine points gap, and now the gap is only three points. Uh, And also Real Madrid won that game, so they have an advantage in in case of of an even qualification in the end of the season. Uh, well, Real Madrid, as you know, has a game tonight against Athletic for the for the Super Cup 
uh, mm -hmm. uh, the postponed match day of the Super Cup, and they could uh, reach Atletico in uh, with with one more game, obviously, but they could reach Atletico. So uh, I think uh, there's an option for Real Madrid to retain the title, um, basically uh, because, uh, well, in my opinion, Atletico is not a very reliable team. Uh, they mm -hmm. can they can uh, they can lose points uh, against. Uh, against weaker teams, uh, uh, as we have seen in previous seasons, and mainly because Barcelona is underperforming uh, this season. Yeah. They are they are um, showing to be a very weak team. They depend a lot on, on Lionel Messi. And as we all know, Messi is not feeling very happy at Barcelona in this in this in these moments. Although he he scored a great goal against uh, Levante. If Messi uh, wakes up at, was we say in Spain, uh, well, there's an option for Barcelona, but I think they have lost uh, too many points. They have lost also the direct game against uh, Real Madrid. So yeah. uh, uh, I think Madrid has has an option. And mainly we have uh, to to remember that the Real Madrid is playing without Eden Hazard, Eden Hazard yeah. uh, who is probably the best, the best player in the team. So uh, if Hazard re recovers, if he reaches the level that he showed in Chelsea, if uh, the main pieces of the team like uh, Ramos, uh, Cour Courtois, Ramos, uh, Toni Kroos, uh, Luka Modric and Benzema uh, keep their level, I think Real Madrid has an option to, to fight for every title and of course, uh, why not for La Liga too. Okay. Um... بالنسبة للموسم هذا خلينا نحكي زين الدين زيدان يعني معروف انه محمي في ريال مدريد لو انتهى الموسم بدون القاب هل لازم نحكي مع السلامة لزيدان وهل حيستقيل ولا ينقال؟ Well that's a difficult question. I think he would resign because he has done it twice in his career. He resigned once as a player in in 2006 before he went to the World Cup with France. He he renounced to a 6 million euros uh, contract in Real Madrid. And he resigned uh, as a coach in, in 2018 after winning the third Champions League in a row. Uh, you know, Fidan is a, is a god in, in, in for Madrid fans. And uh, also I think that Florentino Perez uh, would uh, have to think very carefully about it about, uh, be before uh, sacking him. It yeah. could be a very unpopular de decision. And Florentino Perez always thinks about what is popular about <clears throat> between Real Madrid fans. <clears throat> so I think uh, the most possible uh, way to end this relationship is that, that uh, Zidane would resign, <coughs> mainly because uh, that would keep uh, a door open to probably uh, uh, come back to Real Madrid. I think he, if if this uh, stage uh, finishes, uh, he will go back to Real Madrid one day. خليني معك هون هي زيدان عمره ما شعر بإنه فاشل يعني من ريال مدريد كمدرب دائما مواسمه ناجحة. هذا الموسم حيكون فعلا لو بدون ألقاب حيكون أول موسم فاشل. فبالتالي بيكون احتمالية إنه يطلع أكبر. Well, he did it after winning the Champions League in in 2080. <coughs> I think he he has a very a very high con consideration of what Real Madrid means, and uh, as a player, uh, he didn't win uh, so many trophies with Real Madrid. He won the Champions League, but uh, the next the the seasons after that were not very good. And now I think he feels responsible for what's happening in Real Madrid. Uh, and if there's no titles. I think he he would probably he would probably resign and leave Real Madrid for a third time. What would be a record in in Real Madrid history? Nobody has done it uh, uh, more often than, than he than he has. خلينا نروح موضوع حساس شوي اللي هو الإعلام الإسباني. إحنا عندنا نظرة شوي غريبة على الإعلام الإسباني بنعتقد إنه قائم على الفيك نيوز الأخبار الكاذبة على يعني خلينا نحكي الانحياز من الصحف. هل هذا الشيء موجود؟ Well. Um... You know, there, there are two there are two big big cities in 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 Spain's journalism, right? Madrid and Barcelona. Yeah. And well, I think it's more 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 usual from Barcelona media to 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 Real Madrid. Uh, yeah. But um, many times 
they uh, I don't I don't I don't wouldn't say they invent things, but they uh, take one little thing and make it a bigger thing. No, yeah. uh, I I remember when <coughs> when Real Madrid signed signed Modric. Uh, for uh, 20, 42 million million euros. Uh, well, they criticized the law designing. They say it was uh, uh, just to hide Real Madrid misery. And well, uh, Modric has showed, showed himself as one of the, one of the best, best players in Real Madrid history. Probably uh, we, uh, I work in a, in a Madrid in Madrid newspaper, also do it from uh, concerning Barcelona, but. I think, uh, and then there's a, a also another another factor that, that are the the agents. The agents are very very powerful in mm -hmm. in Spanish in Spanish football. So maybe, uh, yep. خليني أوقفك هون لو سمحت. The agents دائما إحنا كمان مش فاهمين لعبتهم في إسبانيا أو في أوروبا. هل فعلا هم بيسربوا أخبار بيحاولوا يصنعوا أخبار؟ Yeah, that, that's that's habitual. Uh, well, uh, that's why uh, that what why we in Spain call the environment no, of a player of or of a club. Uh, yes, they 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 push. They try to pressure to get better, better contracts. It depends on the on the journalist to do it or to not to do it. Personally, I don't do it, but I don't. I know it's done. So uh, if it's done, uh, we have to to know where information comes from and what factors can be behind that information. Uh, on the other hand, I don't think the clubs uh, uh, led to be pressured by that kind of interest. I think the clubs, uh, well, know, know that's what's going on and they, they just follow their way and they are not uh, uh, conditioned by that kind of pressure. معلش خليني هذا الموضوع انا بصراحه يعني مهم كثير للناس في العالم العربي عشان نفهمه ونوقف على شغلتين هل ممكن الايجنت يهاجم لاعب اخر مش له يعني نحاول نطلع انه والله مارسيلو سيء عشان انا بدي العب فلان او العكس بنفس الوقت إيه الانديه طلعت كلام انه برشلونه مثلا من اول شركات حتى ربما كلام عن فورتينو باريز من اول شركات اللي لنشر اعلام هل هذا الشيء موجود؟ Well, uh, concerning the, the first question uh, and the second question, I, I don't I don't think so. I don't think it's so so uh, so so real. So uh, well, I don't I, I can't imagine Marcelo Sagan uh, leaking bad news about about Mendy. Uh, it's more on the positive way, you know. Uh, well, if I have um, if I have, Mar have Marcelo and he's not playing. I would say, well, hi, why he's not playing? Because he's a legend in Real Madrid. He won four Champions League and he deserves to play because he's working very hard at home mm -hmm. and he's training very hard and he, he, he's not complaining about, about his situation. But, well, it depends on the agents. Uh, for instance, in this case, you, you're asking me about uh, Marcelo's agent is, agent is not talking about Marcelo's situation. Marcelo is not playing, but he's yeah. not playing Uh, he's not complaining about that. He's accepting it, you know. Uh, not exactly it, Marcelo, any player in general. It may happen. Uh, talk talk badly about the the players who compete with your player. I never, I never, I never saw it. I never saw it. I never saw it. So the other one, who was related to Perez, Barcelona, BR companies. Oh no, I don't think so. I I think he has too many problems in Madrid to to to. To fund the campaign against Barcelona. Barcelona are a very, very powerful team. They have a very powerful, solid uh, uh, media media back in in Catalonia and also in other parts of Spain. Because uh, since Messi arrived in Barcelona, Barcelona's popularity in Spain has grown uh, a lot. Uh, Uh, you know, 20 years ago, uh, 70% of, of, uh, of football fans in, in Spain were Real Madrid fans. And now it's more 50-50, you know, because uh, in the last uh, years, Barcelona won so much titles and played so wonderful football that they have, they have conquered a lot of fans, especially, especially uh, young people. So uh, I don't think it's... Uh, Uh, and, and besides, uh, and Barcelona and Real Madrid are such great clubs that they uh, have uh, many common interests and they work together in, in many, in many mm -hmm. not also in the Spanish league, but also in the Champions League and maybe in the Super League if it finally, finally gets through. Uh, 
so uh, I don't think that they are enemies. I, I think that the person who best خلينا ننتقل على برشلونه ونتكلم شوي عن برشلونه طبعا زي ما بنعرف انه ليونيل ميسي بده يغادر فهل لا ليغا تعاني بدون ميسي؟ Yes obviously uh, well uh, the show must go on obviously but uh, when la liga lost ronaldo and and that face to face ronaldo messi uh, well it, it it has an effect on, on on the prestige and the and the image of of la liga if la liga lost messi uh, obviously uh, the popularity of this of, of la liga uh, would go down and many leagues like uh, well not obviously the premier league which is i think on the top of europe but also uh, la Bundes, the bundesliga the, the german league or, or the serie a the italian league uh, could uh, uh, overcome the, the the spanish league it could be it could be a hit for for the league uh, i don't know what's happening with with messi because well it only depends on him he has uh, won the right to decide on on his future because well he's a legend and and obviously barcelona has a lot of uh, economic problems and, and his salary is too high. Uh, we could never know what, what is going to happen with, with him, but it would be, uh, well, uh, a strike for, for La Liga, a big hit, because, well, uh, I think uh, um, apart from, from, from the last uh, six months, I think he's still the best player in the world. But it's not going to happen. No, well, no, as I told you, the, the show must go on. And obviously, uh, if, if, uh, if uh, Messi leaves after Ronaldo left, uh, some other, other big players will come to, to the Spanish league. No, I don't know, maybe, maybe Mbappé, maybe, maybe Haaland. Uh, well, it depends on, on the economic situation because, as you know, uh, the COVID is having a very big impact in the, in the Spanish league. Uh, well, Real Madrid has lost... Uh, 300 million euros in this year's budget because because of the of the of the COVID uh, pandemic, I, uh, Barcelona has not released the economic numbers, but I get the situation uh, would be more or less the same uh, in the region of 300 million euros. And you know, if uh, there are if there is there are no incomes, uh, there can be no signings at, at least. Uh, that's what Real Madrid said, and uh, as you know, I follow Real Madrid information, and they say, well, uh, there's no, there's, uh, there's no, there's no logic in reducing the players' uh, salaries. They they have reduced the players' salaries ten uh, percent, and they say there's no logic in reducing the players' salary and then spending uh, eighty million euros in signing in signing Haaland. So, exactly. uh, well, there's not the. It wouldn't be ethic, you know. Uh, uh, it wouldn't be uh, responsible, uh, and I don't know if there are. Uh, uh, we we don't know how this uh, how long this pandemic is going to last. Uh, well, uh, the situation is uh, seems to be to be getting better because of the vaccine, and uh, I don't know what we don't know uh, when we will have uh, people back in the stadiums with this, which is the the main the main economic income for the class, no? Yeah. Uh, so it, it, it depends. Uh, obviously, the league will uh, miss Mes- Messi very, very much. But, uh, well, uh, Queen said the show must go on. <laughs> That's what is going to happen. Let's talk about Barcelona. What do you think Bartomeu? And who is the president who you think is the best on Real Madrid? Well, Bartomeu... Uh, I think he made many mistakes, but uh, apart from all, uh, well, no, apart from from letting uh, Neymar leave, apart from having trouble with Messi and with other players like Gerard Piqué, uh, I think he, his main mistake was uh, uh, putting us putting at risk uh, Barcelona's finance system. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen because Barcelona always get money. We don't know exactly exactly from uh, from where, but uh, they also they they always get money. But the economic situation in Barcelona is is bad. Uh, the, the interim president uh, that uh, came after uh, Bartomeu uh, well recognized that uh, he said there there are, there are lots of uh, economic economic problems. Uh, 
the salaries in Barcelona are, are too high, uh, higher than in, than in Madrid. They are the highest salaries in, in, in Europe. And well, they are also trying to, to reduce the salaries, but the situation is, is very bad. Uh, they had a project for, for, to reform the, the Camp Nou and it's uh, completely forgotten because they have, uh, they have no money. And I think that's the, that's the, the, the main fault by, by Bartomeu. And, and regarding the second question, uh, well, I, I would say Laporta uh, is, uh, would be the president uh, 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 that could damage uh, Florentino Perez more, but uh, mainly because uh, one reason, because I think uh, he's, the, he's the person uh, with more abilities to big uh, Pep Guardiola back to Barcelona. And Pep Guardiola is uh, the manager who, who who so, uh, well, he, he beat Real Madrid in so many ways and so many fronts and so many competitions. Uh, I would say the manager, the, the, the candidate uh, who can bring uh, Guardiola back to, to Barcelona, uh, well, it obviously uh, would damage uh, Real Madrid because uh, I think he's a great manager. Obviously, it would be not the same because he would, he, he would not have uh, Puyol, he would not have uh, Xavi, he would not have Iniesta, maybe he would ha not have uh, even Messi. And well, we would see what, what, would, what would happen uh, in that context against, against Real Madrid. But well, I think he's a great manager and the candidate who gets him, uh, well, he could compete against, against Real Madrid and maybe uh, go back to winning Champions League again. Who knows? <laughs> تعرف شيء عن الكرة العربية وعندنا نجمين ساطعين في العالم الآن اللي هم محمد صلاح ورياض محرز شو رأيك فيهم وهل بتشوف أي واحد منهم في ريال مدريد؟ Well to finish uh, to start with the second questions uh, they are two fantastic players uh, but they play in the Premier League so they have also fantastic contracts uh, and as I told you the situation uh, in in Spain is not very good because the the COVID uh, 19 is affecting all sectors of economy and of course football uh, as there are no fans in the in the stadiums and and the incomes have decreased a lot and uh, well my, as the other for the other question uh, my first uh, memory of uh, of uh, arabic football is in the spanish world cup in 1982 uh, when kuwait oh, I'm, I'm sorry about <laughs> about i'm sorry about my pronunciation maybe not too good yeah, when go ahead, play, go ahead, yeah. uh, play the in i think it was a game in in Valladolid france. and uh, sorry with the france yeah and they had a, a bad decision against them and they decided to retire from 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 the uh, from the from the field uh, well my main memories are mainly arabic football is is known uh, for the world cups so always we, we always we all remember Saudi Arabia in in United States in 1994, and one and also Morocco, Algeria, and they had uh, great performances in the in the World Cup. Obviously, uh, not enough to reach the the final rounds, but uh, well, it's it's always uh, nice to to see to see uh, these teams compete in the World Cup. I, I remember some of them. I, I remember Argelia, for instance. They had a wonderful team. And they could still compete nowadays. So, so uh, well, that's that's why why national team football is still necessary. I think it, it's a way a way to to develop uh, uh, local local football and and regional football and to to give uh, to give it a boost. Uh, and also, uh, I, I I would also like to to uh, to comment about about Mahares and Salah. Uh, well, Salah has been linked to with Real Madrid, but uh, the, the the problem is always the same. Where would he play? Uh, because uh, he's a striker. He plays in the same position as as Karim Benzema uh, or Benzema. Uh, and we have to remember that even uh, Robert Lewandowski, who is a, a prolific uh, goal scorer, uh, didn't dare to sign for Real Madrid because he, he didn't want to compete with with Benzema. Uh, you know, he's a player, uh, well, his history in Real Madrid, I think he's uh, the best striker 
for Real Madrid style, for, for Zidane's Real Madrid striker style. Yeah. So it would not be it would not be easy to have to have uh, Salah in, in Real Madrid. Uh, العرب كان عندهم قصة مؤلمة في إسبانيا في كأس العالم نذكرها جميعنا الجزائر في خيخون. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. It was uh, well, uh, as Italians say, biscotto, no? Uh, yeah. And they they send them of the out. They send them out of the World Cup with a very, very, very ugly uh, maneuver uh, to 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 get them out. Well. Uh, Germany progressed to the final, but they finally lost against Italy. So uh, that's uh, justice, as we call it in, in, in Spain. That's just they, they finally lost. So so they 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 didn't take profit from that. Mr. Santiago, تشرف كثير إنك كنت معنا وسعيد جدا إني استضفتك. تعلمنا أكثر عن إعلام إسبانيا، عن ريال مدريد، عن المستقبل. فخور جدا بانه حتكون معنا ان شاء الله دائما. Okay, it was a pleasure for me to be to be with you, Mohamed. I'm looking forward for the next uh, occasion to be with you and and your and your followers. It was a pleasure.